The story of Wang Zhaodrin marrying off to the Huns has long been told by the Chinese people. However, historical records of this story are quite scant. Both Book of Han and Book of the Later Han recorded the story in a very brief way. This left enough space of imagination for literati of later generations to pen the story of Wang Zhaodrin. Based on the Book of Han, Ma Ji Yuan, in the Yuan Dynasty, reconstructed the plot and characters of the story. In his famous poetic drama, Autumn in the Han Palace, also known as the apparition of a lonely goose in a dark dream in the autumnal Han Palace, he describes a tragic love story between Emperor Yuan Di of Han and his concubine, Wang Zhaodrin. During the reign of Emperor Yuan Di of Han, Mao Yan Shou, a court painter, was ordered to select beauties among the commoners for the palace. Wang Zhaodrin, one of the ladies picked for the emperor's harem, refused to bribe Mao. This angered Mao, and he deliberately drew her in an ugly way. So, Zhao Drin was overlooked by the emperor. One day, the emperor was walking in the courtyard, and he was attracted by a beautiful sound of pipa. Following the sound, he saw Zhao Drin playing the instrument. He couldn't help but praise. A smile would capture the breath of the whole city. Such a dazzling beauty, and outstanding talents. Who is her? Soon, Emperor Yuan Di bestowed the title Mingfei upon Zhao Drin, and was prepared to execute Mao, the painter. Mao caught wind of the news, and fled in no time. Mao went to the Huns, and gave Hu Han Ye, Khan, the chieftain of the Huns, a portrait of Wang Zhao Drin. Mao had an insidious idea. He suggests Hu Han Ye, demand Zhao Drin from the Han Emperor. The emperor assembled leading officials for a discussion when he received the message from Hu Han Ye. Feared of the strength of the Huns, all courtiers suggested Emperor Yuan Di to offer Wang Zhaojun in exchange for peace. And they even admonished the emperor to learn from the story of King Zhou, who was killed and his kingdom ruined due to his obsession with his concubine Da Ji. Alas! Maintain an army for 1,000 days and ask for its use only for an hour. But look at these courtiers, they are all, but worthless, cowards. The emperor felt isolated and helpless, and told Zhao Drin the decision of the courtiers. Zhao Drin persuaded the sovereign to put the interests of the state above their mutual love, and volunteered to marry Hu Han Ye of the Huns. Had no choice. The emperor saw Zhao Jun off. At the border, Hu Han Ye met Wang Zhaodrin. He was happy that the emperor dared not neglect the alliance with him. Zhao Drin asked for the last time to look at the south, her homeland, and drank a glass of wine. After drinking the wine, she threw herself into the waters of the Boundary River. Hu Han Ye ordered to bury her there and called her tomb the Green Tomb. He blamed Mao, the painter, and sent him back to the Han Emperor. Ever since Zhao Drin was married off to the Huns, Emperor Yuan Di had been in deep sorrow, languishing in his palace. The drama ended with a poem by the Emperor, showing his endless longing. When the leaves were falling, and the goose calling, in a palace sprawling, I was alone on my pillows, lovesick and dreaming. Alas! The green tomb is there, but where is my lady fair? To have the court painter beheaded, is the least I can do, for my dear. Besides Ma Ji Yuan's work, there are different versions of the story of Wang Zhaodrin, such as, Book on Zither Tunes, A New Account of the Tales of the World, Chen Yu Zhao's, Zhaodrin Departing for the Frontier, and Yo Tone's Hanging Peepaw.